Hey guys, good morning from Champaign, Illinois, where it is a dreary morning because it has been raining forever and that rain actually turned into freezing rain last night. So we're in the middle of a quasi ice storm. It's not terrible though. So today I just want to tell you one of my stories about podcasting and then I want to get to today's assignment. So since I started podcasting a year and a month ago, so for 13 months, I've been on over 150 podcasts. There has been numerous, numerous benefits. And if you check out the other videos, I'm going to tell you about how I was chosen to be in a documentary film as far as, and that goes along with a research project called the Global Resilience Project. So I'm super proud of that. I'm also, you know, telling you one of the benefits is that you can fill your stadium Full of people who love you, who resonate with you, and want to hear more of your message. So it's a great, cheap, and easy way to build followers that doesn't involve hustling day in and day out, chasing down various social media posts, constant posting, posting in groups. I mean, you know, you know the drill. If you have a message in your heart and you're trying to get it out, you spend you can exhaust yourself trying to use social media to get your message out. All right, so today's benefit that I want to focus on is online summits. Now you've seen these, you get you see ads for them, you probably get some emails where you're going to have an influencer that's bringing you a free online summit. So what that looks like, I've seen Sounds True do it. I see actually I see several of them every day, mostly because I am the speaker. They'll typically feature between 20 and 40 speakers. They'll roll out one or two interviews each day with these speakers and they market it through all of the different speakers email lists. So it's actually a genius idea. It gets your word out through over, I think something mm -hmm. like the minimum is a hundred thousand um, email blasts that will go out because when they add up all the speakers it ends up being a platform of over a hundred thousand. So that's huge. But it also gets you in front of an audience that, that is private. So the thing, I think the draw to these online summits is that it's private and it's exclusive. So the only way to get the content is to actually sign up for the summit. Now, why am I bringing you this and what does it have to do with podcasts? So I have, since the beginning of the year, been invited to at least to participate in at least seven of these online summits. So everything from, I was in one called, recently called the Millennial Spirit. That one is doing very well. Um, yesterday I did one for what was called the Creative Healers. And there's actually been seven of them that I've participated in so far. And I usually get a new offer comes in about once a week because once you're in the online summit circuit, they all refer because I think they all took the same online class. If I'm being really honest, because they're all using exactly the same strategy. And I think that they pass your name around amongst each other because that seems to be how it started is like from the first one, then I got referred to another one and another one and another one. Now, what does this have to do with podcasts? Because I was discovered because of podcasts. So when I I think the first one I was on was called Moms on a Mission, and I was discovered because she checked me out on a podcast, heard me, heard me just for a few minutes on a podcast, became very interested in what I had to say, and she sent me an email and asked me to be on her online summit. Now, that would not have happened had I not been on a podcast that she happened to hear. And so if you want to spread your message, and like thinking outside of terms of the traditional social media that we've been hearing so much of, then we need to think outside of the box, okay? We need to think, or what are the other ways we can spread our message that A, isn't gonna cost us a ton of money, and B, is very effective and builds a connection between you and your audience. Because think about this, guys. Everything you say, everything you do, every word that comes out of your mouth, every action you take, every choice you make, in the thinnest sliced moments of life is either creating a deeper connection to what you want or it's driving a disconnection. This is how I make all of my choices in life through Cleanser Clog. It's actually chapter five in my book, Conscious Communications. Um, and it's like everything is either cleansing you or clogging you. So podcasting has been a huge cleanse for me. It has boosted my career in ways that honestly I can never give back. So, okay. 
that was my little podcast story talking about online summits. Just want to throw that out there for you guys because you know what? They don't cost you anything. Here's the thing. If you participate in someone's online summit, they will never, ever ask you for money. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything. All right. Now, there are some other tricks to it, and I'll go in on that on another video, but I want to tell you what I'm doing today. So today I'm actually, it's kind of, I got my sheath dress on and I'm sitting in my bedroom as I have been every morning when I've been coming to you. And I am presenting in a couple of hours, um, what my signature seminar and I'm doing that at a local credit union. So I'm super duper excited actually to get it over with because it's going to be me on stage for about two hours and I don't know who would want to listen to me for two hours, but it'll be enough to put me to sleep by the end of the day. So let's get to the assignment. All right, when you first joined, and if this is the first video you're seeing, I just wanna quickly tell you what the previous assignments have been. The first one is, I want you to introduce yourself and I want you to tell me, if you were on a podcast, what would you talk about? Like, <laughs> Cheryl, if you wanna to come to the U of I Credit Union on First Street at one o'clock, I'm sure they would let you in. You could be, you could say, hey, um, I'm Mary's official note taker and photographer, and I am absolutely sure they would let you in the door, sweetie. Okay, and Guy, you will definitely be seeing me on March 1st when I show up at Hay House, and you get to uh, listen. We'll see what you think after you've heard me. All right, back to the assignments, because see, here's my ADD brain. All right, so day one, introduce yourself and tell me, if you were on a podcast, what would you talk about? Um... Day two, I think I asked you to tell me something unique about yourself. Now, for day three, what I want you to do is listen. I want you to ask, answer this question, okay? And I want you to be as specific as possible. Don't say something generic. What does someone have to learn from what you have been through in life? Okay, so what is something that someone can learn? So if you're on a podcast, one of the things that's very important is that the listener walks away or takes gets a takeaway. So what can someone take from, you, you know, I know that um, Samantha in the group is <clears throat> doing some kind of diet coaching. I mean, I don't know all the details, but it has to do with women in their 40s and how to lose weight, like after that particular milestone in life. <clears throat> Excuse me. So what would be the takeaway? At the end of 20 minutes, at the end of 40 minutes, at the end of an hour, what will someone now know that they didn't know before? So today's assignment is I want you to think about and I want you to post in the group, please, what are the takeaways from what you could share on a podcast, okay? So for me, it's cleanse or clog. It's that thing that I just said. Like everything you say, everything you do, every word that comes out of your mouth, every action you take, every choice you make in the thinnest sliced moments of life is either creating a deeper connection to what you want or it's driving a di disconnection. So people can, t that is a takeaway because see, that is a teaching moment. That is teaching someone how to check in with their choices and ask themselves, does this get me closer to what I want or does it get me farther away? So, you know, that's a great thing for you to do. Like, will being on a podcast get you closer to your goals or farther away? Because if it's farther away, guess what? It's a waste of your time and you don't need to be in this group. But if being on a podcast is going to help you spread the message about the trauma you've been through, the service you provide, the thing that you want to teach, you know, the book that you've written, the... The, the, the story that only you have been through, if that is a yes, then podcasts are for you. And if that is a yes, whether you're watching live or you're watching the replay, please give me a big fat yes in the comments. Okay. So I wanted to leave you with one more thing. We've got about a little over 30 people in the group now. I expect the group is going to grow a little bit every day. I haven't actually started marketing this yet. So it's kind of on the friends and family plan for now. Thank you. Uh, Linda says, yes, I love it. But already, um, a third of you have already signed up for my podcast class. So po the podcast course is only $97 in the presale period. And it's basically, it's called Featured and Fabulous. And it's the best kept insider secrets about how you can book yourself on a podcast. And in the class, we are going to go over 
my, this is my, this is like, you can't get this anywhere else because I created this system. It's called the five phase formula to booking yourself on a podcast. And so we're going to go over phase one through five of all the steps that you need to take to fill up your calendar. And when I say fill up, I mean, it's all up to you because in my, at my height, I was actually going on two to three shows per day, which resulted in becoming a best-selling author, like almost overnight within six weeks. I'm sure Guy remembers that day that I called him up and was like, I'm number one. I don't know what to do, but my book is number one. I'm freaking out right now. I'm still kind of freaking out over it because it doesn't feel real. Well, guess what? I had been on a podcast that day. There's tons and tons of benefits that come from podcasting. I just, I don't even have words to express it to you guys. So if you want to get in during the pre-launch period, it's $97. I will, um, I'm not going to post the link like right this moment only because I'm on my cell phone. I got to get ready for this presentation, but I'll post it here later. If you just need time to like figure out if it's right to you, the pre-sale is going on until March the 9th. And on March 10th, when we go into our launch period, the price of the course will be $137. So the course is an hour long, um, an hour long presentation of me going through all of the five phases, that's a mouthful, the five phase formula. I actually present phase one and two and five. And Cheryl Muir, my partner in the UK, who is a PR expert, she teaches phase two and three. And that's very important to know because phase two and three is all about creating your interview topics and creating your media kit. And the reason I asked Cheryl to do that, although I, could, I am perfectly capable of teaching it, Cheryl is a PR expert, so she's coming to it from a different perspective than I would because I'm more of an end user, like I'm the person who did this myself, but she studied it. So she is an expert, which is why I've got her teaching that part. Now, you're going to get some amazing bonuses, such as a full color workbook for you to actually go through all of the five phases. You're going to get a media kit template, which means I'm just giving you the um, Adobe file. I don't know if it's done in Adobe or Canva or whatever, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'm giving you the template of where all you have to do is like cut and paste your stuff on it to create your amazing media kit. As a matter of fact, Karen K already used my template. And if you're listening to this, Karen, or the replay, please post your beautiful um, one sheet that you made so that everyone else can see it. You're also going to get an exclusive interview between myself and Kelly Glover, who is an agent. So she is an agent, not only for people like me, but she also was a show producer and she still is a show producer. So she tells you in this exclusive interview what producers are looking for. That is valuable information that I wish I had had a year and a half ago. So I just want to leave you with as your assignment once again is tell me what can people learn from you? So, you know, we've already reviewed, like, what is your passion? What do you want to talk about on the show? But what does the listener gain by hearing you? All right. Wish me luck today during my presentation. I'll let you all know how it goes. Massive love and signing off for now. Bye-bye. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.